We all know how good the Google Camera application is when it comes to HDR processing or the overall image processing algorithm. But chances are if you just try to simply install the Google Camera application on your phone, it will refuse to work and that is due to the lack of Camera 2 API permissions. Now as much as nerdy the Camera 2 API word sounds, it's as simple as copy pasting few lines. So in today's short video, let's see how you can enable Camera 2 API on any Android phone. Hey what's up guys, Bhushan here from our boy Expert. With that being said, let's get started. Now there are mainly two methods by which you can enable camera 2 API on your device. Well there are three to be honest but the third one is for non rooted devices and it's kinda hard as well to follow along. But there are two main methods which I will show in this video and it's again for rooted devices. But if your device is not rooted or if you are just running an android without root, check the links down below to know more about how can you root your phone and all that usual stuff. So with that out of the way, let's start the tutorial shall we? Now before getting started, there are some prerequisites that you will require in order to make the camera 2 API work. Like the number one and the most important one is a rooted phone with magic installed. And lastly a file explorer that allows you to edit the build prop of your phone. Now once you have the root explorer opened or the build editor or a build prop editor in my case, just paste the two lines of codes given down below in the description and make a new string or a new line of command if you will. Once done, just reboot and check whether the camera 2 API is installed or not. And by the way, you can check it again from the links given down below. There is an application which will help you to check whether you have enabled your camera 2 API on your phone or not. So that was the very first method by which you can enable camera to API on a device. But what if you just don't want to go through all the hassle of downloading the files, installing the root explorer, copy pasting the lines of code? Now here is when the second way of enabling camera to API comes into the picture. All you have to do is just flash a magisk module which is linked in the description down below. Now just open the magisk manager app, click on install modules and select the place where you have downloaded the files and then just swipe to confirm flash. Once done you can click some raw photos, you can enjoy the google camera and you can do all the sweet stuff which you can do with the camera 2 API. Do let me know if you guys want a dedicated video on what you can do by enabling camera 2 API on your phone. And that closes the curtain for this video. Do let me know, was this tutorial helpful to you by any way? And shall I come up with more flashing slash routine tutorials in the near future? Would be really interesting to know your thoughts about the same. With that being said, I'm our boy Expert and I'm signing out.